guys, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Becca, and today I have the announcement for the month long book off with us. Hi, friends, it's Barbara, and welcome back to another video. And today I am bringing you my Becca's book Bookopoly book off with us TBR. Hello and yeah welcome to another brand new video this has been in the works for the last couple of weeks and I cannot be any happier to be bringing you my September Bookoplathon TBR so what should we talk about first if you don't know anything about Becca's Bookopoly or Beck in the Books channel I will link them both down below for you the announcement video and also the playlist and Becca's channel also and it will basically just introduce you to Becca's Bookopoly game that she plays every single month and in the month of September every single year I have participated in the Bookopoly-thon and this is going to be a month-long readathon with all of the book community literally legit every single person that I follow that I watch that I sub to that I talk to on Instagram that I chat to every single day is literally taking part in this readathon so if you're not already taking part you've still a couple of days left to roll your your dice on your board and get involved but this video is going to be just solely my book uplathon tbr and yeah let's just talk about some books that i do have to get to which your buddy reads for the month and then we will take a look at the board and see what my rules will bring me so friends, with regards to buddy reads for September, I have got four um, to show you, which are two for the book club that I'm involved in on Facebook, We Be Booking, and then two with my lovely friend Rebecca. So I'll just go over those with you. Hopefully, if the board's kind to me, I may be able to get them onto my rolls, but these are musts and these are the I have to read these. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so the first two are buddy reads through the We Be Booking book club that I am involved in on Facebook. I will link the details down below if you fancy joining a really fantastic Facebook book club which is so interactive and so full of lovely people and yeah just really really nice and we we read a lot so it is really good there's a lot of TBR games in that as well I'm not participating in September's TBR game because of Bookopoly but I did want to get to these brand new releases and anticipated releases which I've anticipated all year so the first one is Sherry Lapina's Not A Happy Family I absolutely love the cover of this one it is a chilling thriller as far as I know I don't really want to read too much about these I don't want this video to be too long but this is the first one someone in this house could be dangerous Sherry Lapina is a brand new author to me so I'm very excited to pick this one up and I've already tabbed it down for discussion points within the book club and then the second one is the author of My Lovely Wife For Your Own Good Samantha Downing again a brand new author I have been anticipating this since 20 like January I, I literally have seen this doing the rounds already it's only it's only out and I haven't read My Lovely Wife yet but I'm dying to get to it I've heard so much about Samantha Downing as a thriller author so I'm really excited again tab down into discussion pages and another thriller and then my lovely friend Rebecca we are continuing on with the Shadow Hunter series and we're going on to book two which is City of Ashes by Cassandra Clare I rated the first book City of Bones five star absolutely loved it loved the main characters loved the character building loved the world building loved the you know the Shadow Hunters I loved the Institute everything that literally happened in the first book I absolutely loved I rated it five stars as I say and I have really high hopes for this one as well so can't wait to continue on with this series and then lastly me and Rebecca decided to take on the mammoth task of reading the Game of Thrones books in order over the next seven months and we read Game of Thrones in August this month and we are going to be moving on to the mighty A Clash of Kings in September so this is the second book and this follows on straight from the first the Game of Thrones and I am so here for this I think first time round I read the first three books and then just didn't have anyone to hold me accountable and just needed someone there so it's lovely to know that there's someone also going to be reading this with me haven't tabbed it yet but I am going to tab that out to 100 pages and be 150 pages a day we'll see how we go it's a chunker dunker and it is currently oh my goodness me it is 800 and 80 pages long <laughs> 
so yeah I might take that over two weeks actually maybe at the start of the month we'll see how we go but those guys are the specific body reads and book club picks that I have that have to be read in September so I guess without further ado and without talking too much let's just show you the board that I drew and put my heart and soul tears and sweat into because I am not a good artist by any mean feat and I'm just delighted with my board so let's get into it and let's see if the board is going to be good or bad mm, we'll see okay so I have everything I need here I've got my double dice I've got my barb counter and I have my very a lot of effort went into this board because I cannot draw for anything and I'm very very happy about it so let's get on to rule number one rule number one is five let's see where barb's gonna take us one two three four five and it is the first buzzword square so what did you think of my board then <laughs> it actually looks really good i'm really really happy with it Anyway, roll number one, what did we get? We got the buzzword challenge. Um, so basically, that's anything with girl, boy, people, husband, wife, Mr, Mrs, all that nice stuff in the title. We had to find a book with a title. I'm going to stretch it slightly because my game, my rules, but really Becca's rules, but yes, what, what would be a TBR game if we don't stretch the rules slightly anyway? And I am going to be going for a pick that I have in my five star predictions and that I've wanted to get to all year. And it is The Wives by Taryn Fisher. I have literally heard nothing but amazing things about this book. Literally. I Thrillers, September, all day long. I love psychological thrillers. I love thrillers about husbands who have ton loads of wives and they just found each other and they didn't know that each other existed and all that nice stuff don't know a lot about this other than it is highly recommended heavily recommended by every single booktuber and instagrammer i know why i haven't get to it yet i will never know but it's on september's tbr and i am so here for it rule number two seven Three, four, five, six, seven. And that takes us to mood rate. Number two brought us a mood rate, which I am not going to laugh at at all. I am very happy with that. We all know what it's like sometimes. We only want to pick up certain things. But I have had my eye on this for a while since it was gifted to me. And it is Iran's Lost by Alistair Chisholm. So this is a middle grade sci-fi, as we know, and it is going to be a fun time. I have, again, seen it doing the rounds on Booktube and J.D. Ray Reads, I think, and Steph really loved this one. And obviously Gav from the Gav Gav, you know. Um, but yeah, I absolutely cannot wait to get into this one and we'll see what we think of it. But there was a ship in space lost. The transport ship Iran is four months out of Earth when catastrophe strikes leaving the ship and everyone on board stranded in deep space. Suddenly it's up to 13 year old Beth and her friends to navigate through treacherous and uncharted territory to reach safety. But a heavily damaged ship, space pirates, a mysterious alien species and an artificial intelligence that Beth doesn't know if she can trust means that getting home has never been so difficult. With incredible twists and turns on an action packed story, this is a thrilling, unputdownable adventure. Sounds absolutely fantastic, doesn't it? And middle grades on a TBR are only a good thing. Rule number three is another seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That takes us to current affairs. Rule number three brought us a seven and that landed us on current affairs. And I'm going to be picking up 56 days and this is not here right now i'm waiting on it coming tomorrow but i wanted to get this video filmed so i'll leave a graphic up for it on the screen for you now it is as far as i know it's something to do with the perfect murder during lockdown and i feel as if current affairs wise um could there be anything more current than lockdown and people being locked down and in their homes 
And I imagine this is going to be a murder that takes place in within 56 days and then they have to find out who it is. But I don't know anything about this book. I'm going to go blind into it. I just know that it's so many book club picks right now and so many people are talking about it. So I'm very, very, very excited. Very top heavy on the thrillers for this TBR so far, but I'm totally here and happy with that. Rule number four. <gasps> My first double. <laughs> Double four and that is eight and that takes us to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that is apologies, that takes us to the last colour. So of course we had to have a double within this book uply round. I have six rolls and I have just added a roll on because I rolled a double for this one and it was double four, which took me to last colour of the book that you just read. So the last the colour of the last book that you just read, sorry. And the last book I just read was Survive the Night by Riley, Riley Sager. Gave this one three stars, it was just okay. So the one that I'm going to go for is the first of the series and it is Glass Houses by Rachel Kane, the Morganville Vampires book one. I've been heavily recommended this by Liv and the Be Becca over on Becca Fell's channel. She absolutely loves this series. As far as I know, there's like 11 or 12 books in it in the series. I think it's quick paced and quick reading. I picked this up in a charity shop for very, very cheap last month. And yeah, I've read a couple of Rachel Kane's thriller books recently and absolutely loved them. And yeah, why not pick this up? And there is obviously blue on the cover. Thrill is six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that is a community shelf. So what I've done is instead of making the cards up, I have written out the prompts down the side here for the community shelf and I'm just going to roll again and whatever number I get is what I have to use. And that is number seven, which is favourite author. Rule number five, ruled as a six and it took us to a community shelf card. So obviously as I explained, I had written down one to 12 numbers and then prompts there and um, bits and bobs that I may want to get to within the month on the chance side as well. So what I did was, was I rolled again and I got a number seven, which was favorite author. So what I have decided to go for is one that again has been on my TBR for a while. So Reading to Zero is really taking a hit this month, which is fantastic, fantastic news. If you don't know what Reading to Zero is, I'll link the uh, video down below where I'm talking about how I want to get to my basically my TBR shelf down to zero by the end of 2022. But I wanted to go with a favourite author of mine, Ruth Ware, and it is The Death of Mrs Westaway. Really, really have wanted to read this for a long time and just haven't been able to get it onto any TBRs. So what better than to do it this month in September? Um, Ruth Ware, I she is a favourite author as in an auto by author. I find that with Ruth Ware's books, I either give them one star or five star. There's never an in-between. I've read quite a few already and I have wanted to get to this for a while. A few friends have actually recommended this one to me recently. So it's on the TBR. What should have been our last roll, but roll number six is another double. So I have eight rolls instead of six. And that is a four one two three four and also as well as double it is a big book over 500 pages and of course Bagopoli wouldn't be complete without a big book over 500 pages so what I am going to go for for this one is one of my buddy reads which I showed you at the start of the uh, of the video and that's Clash of Kings by George R. R. Martin, which is the second in the Game of Thrones series. I've already spoken about this at the start of the video. Don't need to go into much detail about it again. It's over 800 pages long, so I do feel as if that will fit the prompt. And yeah, I think we all need a chunker dunker on our TBR, especially for book Bookopoly. Do we all agree? Rule number seven is five. One, two, three, four, five, and it's another community shelf. So what we'll do is, is the same as what we did before, and we will go to number seven again. What is the chances of that happening? And again, another favourite author. 
seventh roll and hopefully what we would like to think is the last roll we just do not know and that was again a community shelf card which also brought up a roll of seven so it was again a favorite author of mine and i've decided to go for an author sarah pimbra and her latest release dead to her which i think is going to be the best time i got this from the library i had it on hold for a bit and just collected it when i came back from my trip my beach trip and yeah don't know a lot about it again another thriller <sighs> If you're here on this channel for anything other than thrillers, then I'm sorry, but it doesn't happen very often. I swear I do read other books other than thrillers, but thrillers are my jam and I will always pick up for them. But Dead to Her by Sarah Pinbra is does sound really, really good. Let me read this synopsis. Something old. When Marcy met Jason Maddox, she couldn't believe her luck. Becoming Jason's second wife catapulted her into the elite world of high society. But underneath the polite old money manners, she knew she knows she'll always be an outsider and her hard-won life hangs by a thread something new. Then Jason's widow boss brings back a new wife from his trip to London. Young, beautiful, reckless, nobody can take their eyes off Keisha, including Jason. Something you can never ever undo. Marcy refuses to be replaced so easily. People would kill for her life of luxury. What will Marcy do to keep it? <laughs> I'm so excited for this one. I legit cannot wait to read this one and yeah I'm so happy I've got it onto the TBR because it does have to go back to the library in a couple of weeks time so yeah if you've read this one pop a wee comment down below and let me know what your rating was because I'm so excited to get into it I just cannot wait and then fingers crossed guys this is the last roll roll number eight yep and it's a four one two three four and that's landed us on human and guys, lastly, my last rule, which is rule number eight, brought me to The Square Humans. And basically, that's just a book that includes anything to do with humans and tells stories about humans and that nice stuff. And I've decided to go for a TBR vet that's been on my TBR for a long, long, long time. Picked this up in the charity shop about two or three years ago now. And it is The Girl on the Train by Paula Hawkins. Yes, it's another thriller. Are we are we really surprised at this stage? Uh, we've had eight roles and predominantly they're all thrillers. But yes, The Girl on the Train. I don't know a lot about this other than Emily Blunt plays the main character in the film and I would absolutely love to watch it. So I may actually read this and then watch the film. We'll see how it go. What time we have. To everyone else in this carriage, I must look normal. I'm doing exactly what they do. Commuting to work, making appointments, taking things off lists. Just goes to show. Every day the same. Rachel catches the same commuter train every morning. She knows it will wait at the same signal each time overlooking a row of back gardens. She's even started to feel like she knows the people who live in one of the houses. Jess and Jason, she calls them. Their life, as she sees it, is perfect. If only Rachel could be that happy. Until today. And then she sees something shocking. It's only a minute until the train moves on, but it's enough. Now everything's changed. Now Rachel has a chance to become part of the life she's only watched her for. Now they'll see she's much more than just the girl on the train. I have heard that this features an unreliable narrator during the story and this is legit, the, my favourite trope in thrillers is unreliable narrators, narrators, so why I haven't read this one I do not know, but again, book number 8, finished for September's Bookopoly and yeah, let's have a look and see all of the books together shall we? Okay friends, so 8 books. One, obviously, I don't have at the moment 56 days, but two, four, six, seven. I am very excited to read every single one of these books. I had so much fun, so much fun picking them out and looking at the prompts and seeing what I wanted to read off my TBR shelf. So, yeah, really, really delighted with this TBR. Basically, finishes this video and, yeah, I cannot believe we have filmed all my rolls, picked all my books and I just cannot wait until the 1st of September to kick off with the reading sprints with Becca and all of her lovely friends there and get to reading all these amazing, amazing books. So if you like what you see, please give a thumbs up. Also pop down what your TBR is if you're playing along and let me know what you're going to be reading. Are you reading any of the books that I just mentioned in my TBR? And yeah, if you want to stick around for more bookish content and lots of antics and weekly vlogs and nice things like that, then please, please hit that subscribe button. Stick around and I will see you in the next video.